Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Hot Stopper Season 3, Episode 7. I'm very excited to watch this, you guys. It is a uh, Tuesday evening, uh, so I don't have the most energy in the world because the past two days have been so long at school. It's a long week before Halloween and kids are going crazy, so very little energy, but I still have enough to film and I really want to film. I'm gonna have to just push through, so sorry in advance if I feel a little off, but I'm gonna try to push through. I got this. Alright, so thank you for watching. Really hope you have been enjoying my reactions. I can't wait to see what happens in the last two episodes. Ah. Alright, please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon for unedited and early reactions right now. The link is down below. Go check it out, okay? Thank you for watching, and without further ado, here we go. Dance studio. Oh, she just she does everything. Ooh. Nick. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, he wants to jump you so bad. Together. I told you, don't cuddle, solve everything. Yeah, that is true. That is exactly. I just have way too much on my plate. I love my ballet classes, but I've got to get three buses to get there. Oh, that's a lot. Well, I could drive you to ballet if you want. That's nice. I'm not doing anything most Saturdays anyway. <laughs> Nick, you don't have to. No, I, I want He's to. He's such a nice guy. And how's Nick doing these days? Fine. Yeah, I'm all good. Convincing. I haven't really got much going on, to be honest. He doesn't really, yeah. What's going on, That's Nick? because you've been focused on helping Charlie. Yeah. He needs his own thing. I've been focused on Darcy and all their stuff with their mum. Just need to remember to look after yourself, too. Amen. I still think Janet's really beneficial. <laughs> it's beneficial. Okay, class. This is the moment. Oh, sex ed. Honestly, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, and I don't want my first time to be really bad and embarrassing. And maybe, maybe if I'm this nervous about Oh, God. <laughs> think, calm down. It's a good thing we're in sex ed right now. I mean, maybe you'll get some good advice. Uh, yeah, doubt that. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> you clearly are ready, Charlie. Literally won't shut up about it. <laughs> it's not exactly rocket science, is it? I mean, it's how true. bad can it really be? I don't know. I feel like I don't know anything. Oh, just have sex with him, please. <laughs> so we can stop hearing about it. <laughs> She was just feeling Oh, it. Harry. Wanted it, and they got to a point. I was doing what I know already. <laughs> <laughs> the BS coming out of his mouth. It's a big deal because it's the first time you're having sex. Like, that is a big deal. I mean, I know the concept of virginity is bullshit. Awkward teenage like, boys talking about their virginity. <laughs> Condoms not only prevent pregnancy. <laughs> you guys fly so weird. <laughs> we are now going to look at some images of STIs. Oh god. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> I don't blame you for being nervous. That's normal. It's easy for you to say. You were so confident. I was not at all. You guys were very they were both very nervous. We had no idea what we were doing, and even after that, we still had a lot to learn about each other. And what feels good? Yeah, you Maybe learn, get things wrong. you get evolve, get better, learn what each other likes. You know, it's not some perfect, effortless thing. But it's, it's what me and Al, and we love each other. And yeah. if it's awkward about it, I mean, it's supposed to be fun, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Don't <laughs> make it work. Don't make it a job. It's fun. Last thing to remember, folks. <laughs> I think I should be writing okay. this sex ed lesson. How was those interviews? You didn't really mention it in my group. Oh. Yeah, it was, um, I think they decided not to air it, actually. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, how's Al doing? Yeah, she's going down the rabbit hole. 
your mother and I had a chat. Should have expected it. No, no, no. you shouldn't. Doesn't matter. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Aww. She's discouraged. I don't like seeing El so down. Johnny, come on, no down. Where are you guys going so quickly? Oh wow, you guys going straight to it, okay. Oh. Oh god. That just ruined the mood immediately. Fuck. I didn't know he was here. That's <laughs> alright. I'm just glad it wasn't your mom. <laughs> True. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I love these two. Oh, applications. I think this is the best drawing I've done so far. <laughs> I'm scared to see. I'm improving. Uh, not bad. I reckon I could be the next. Next someone. <laughs> someone. Tao Su, artist of goldfish. <laughs> Decided how I'm going to look after myself. Good. And that includes doing me. <laughs> We're getting very sexy this episode. And how much you love me, more important. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Hike down. Yeah, I know it's your 11th last day. Oh. No study hall. Yes. Wow, last day? One more day. Do you get it? Now, Charlie, can I have a quick word before you go? Oh, no. What? You're staying at Truham for sixth form, right? Yeah. Good. I I'm nervous. I wanted to give you this. Just because he missed so many days or something? Campaigning starts in the autumn. Oh, head student. Head boy. Really? Why? Oh, you're smart. You're a strong person. Aww. And I think you could do a lot of good okay. with the kids at this school. You could actually do Just some help. Something to think about over the summer. That's nice. There are a lot of um, younger students who would find it inspiring to see you as head boy. Oh, that's all. I'll think about it. Promise. I that would be great for Charlie. Oh, little him. Oh. Yeah. Uh... Mm, Nick is hot. It's okay, Charlie. Got this. You trying to peek? No. <laughs> it's allowed. We're in love. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, you're allowed to peek. It's okay. Okay. Back in the game, though. Come on. Focus. Maybe, uh... One night you could stay around mine, just us. Do you think your parents will let you? Nah, I don't know about that. Charlie! Pay attention, please. It's the last practice of the year. <laughs> well, last practice, then you guys can focus on each other all summer long. Stop getting mum to agree to a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. She will. I'll ask her when she's in a good mood. And maybe that lie. doesn't happen very often. There's not <laughs> much point in her sleepovers. If you and Nick want to have sex, then you'll have sex. You don't need a sleepover to do that. That's true. Okay, if you've got advice, I'm going to go upstairs. My advice is to sneak out. Okay. Oh. My advice is that a sleepover is unnecessary for the activity. My course. advice is lie and say it's a whole friend sleepover. I hope you do get to have your sex sleepover. <laughs> Thank you. He's Michael, an, can you Michael's stop an odd one. My brother having sex? <laughs> <laughs> A little awkward. School is an option. 
School. You had sex at school. Oh. Yeah, it was it was only once. <laughs> I'd be too it nervous. Was a really bad idea. A lot of people walking outdoors. Oh no. Yeah, no, I don't think we're quite there yet. And also, we have a, a history of getting walked in on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys have been waiting a long time. The anticipation yeah. is really just getting bigger and bigger. That's not a bad thing. There's so much pressure to have sex at our age, but yeah. people should just take as long as they need. Yeah. It's okay to admit that Charlie being ill was tough for you. Yeah. You don't have to be the strong one all the time. Yes. Trust me. I learned that the hard way. Thank you, Tara, for saying what needs to be said I for Nick. You're so smart. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any advice about that kind of stuff? Oh, Nick. I'm not really the person to ask yeah. about sex between you. You two do very different things. Did you get the bus all the way in? Yep, all three of them. Why? Just wanted to see you dancing. You just look so happy when you're dancing. Mm. You're so ridiculous. I had to cut my hair when I kept backing out. Those are like very low bar things to ask. They are, I... but it's still nice because a lot of people cannot even do the low bar stuff. I know, we haven't talked about it properly or anything. It's just a huge deal mm. and... Good for you. Unless you want it to be. It's just you. Yeah. It's just me and you. Oh, these two are so cute. What's this? Oh, recipe. Okay, look at these two cooking together, having a nice moment. This is good. Yeah, me too. We should try it again sometime. Do it. <laughs> it's time. This is as nice and happy as she's going to be. Me and Nick were wondering if I could stay around his one night. Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, yes, at some point. When some point? You have your GCSE exams coming up, and this is quite a big step. And I'm mentally ill, so I can't. No, no, no. that's not oh. what I said. What no, 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 she's, she's not saying that, no. Charlie. What are you so worried about? We all love Nick. Get your, I'm not, you know what? Let's just, we'll talk about this once your exams are over, Charlie. I'm not a child. Oh, this is. Boyfriend, and I will, you can't stop me. Oh, God. Charlie. This, I... this went far very fast. Charlie. She, again, does not know how to say things correctly, and he takes things the wrong way. Like, she can't say the right thing to him. He can't say the right thing to her. It's really just not good. And they were having such a nice moment. It was the first time I felt like I could create something that put joy into the world. That's a nice way to think about it. I guess I never really thought of myself as a creative person before that. Mm -hmm. But I love making these little videos to cheer up the people I love. That's a really so, nice thing to do with your skills. This is really cute. I wish I had someone who would make me something like that. My god, if I did, I would just be crying all the time. That's how I see you. Oh. You can always talk to me about it. Yeah? I'm just scared you won't get it. But he may not, but yeah, he will try. Okay, I don't really know, like, the colleges around there, where they are. Is this close to them, far away? Is he getting nervous because he doesn't want to leave Charlie? Is he getting nervous because he doesn't know what he wants to do in life? I need a distraction. Yeah. Nick, please don't leave me behind. Oh, God. He's worried that if he leaves Charlie, Charlie will backslide and Charlie will go bad. And he's he's been his rock, so what if the rock leaves? Like, yeah, I've been ill, but that doesn't mean that I can't do fun things and be a teenager. Yeah. I'm not fragile. But it also means and then if you really want to be a real teenager, you're going to have to have your parents tell you what to do. And You, you don't think I'm fragile, do you? No, no. 
Charlie, you're like you're so strong. Yeah, I've ever met. Well, you also gotta realize it. You your mom's and your parent. Your mom. And what you want. Your parents are gonna worry about you no matter what, healthy or not. Around, I am. Um... I, I know. I guess I feel a bit lost. Oh. I can't talk to anyone else like I talk to you. Nick's struggling too. I feel like I woke up because I was repressing so much myself before then. Yeah. Not just my, just laughing and joking with my mates, but never really opening up to anyone. And yeah, now get I'm that. thinking about uni and my future and. It's a lot to think about. Now it's time for you to be there for Nick, Charlie. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> it didn't. It did. You're allowed to be a mess sometimes. Everyone is. Oh, I'm a mess now, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're both a bit of a mess. Hmm. Your mess made perfectly together. Who's about to walk in? So if someone walks in again, I swear to God. You came here. All upset and I made it all around me. <laughs> You're allowed to talk about yourself. Oh. Here we go. Oh my. Hopefully this goes well. Do you want to carry on? We don't have to if you don't want. This is literally the only thing I've been able to think about. It really has been. <laughs> I always think about this as like the actors and it's like this must be awkward as actors. Well, I guess these two have finally popped their cherries. It's happened. Um, I don't know what that means for the finale. Is it about to be oh god. <laughs> Just fell right out of my ear. Is that out to be like real awkward and we're gonna deal with that? Or is it that it's all gonna be perfect and amazing and something at the end of the episode, the finale, is gonna go downhill badly? I'm very worried. <laughs> Cause every, well, not everyone's doing well, but everyone's figuring their shit out, has someone to talk to. Ella has Tao in there and he's making her feel better and she's figuring her shit out. And Nick has Charlie and Charlie has Nick and they're figuring their shit out. And Tara has, um, Darcy, sorry, forgot their name for a second. Tara and Darcy are working together, and Tara is focusing on making sure she focuses on herself a bit more, which I love for her. And everyone's kind of like, okay, we have problems, but we're working on them now. But what does that mean for the finale? Are we about to do the GCSE test? Is Charlie about to fail? Is Nick going to decide to go to a college farther away? Um... Is Elle going to make a big decision or something? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm nervous and excited. I can't believe only one more episode left, and then what? We have to wait like another year or two? Oh, so long. I love these people. They're so cute. They're so happy. They're so nice to each other. I wish I had a friend group like this. Damn. Where you could like, or had someone like they all have, that you can sit and have a conversation about your feelings and everything. They just talk about like their feelings to their friends all the time. I'm like, I never have deep conversations about my feelings with friends. That's probably more my fault than their fault, but also, yeah, I also don't have a friend that's like my friend, my person who I can confide in. I have friends who all have friends like that, but I don't have my one person, my bestie. I don't know. I just never have. I did in college, well, and my real, like, and he's like a best friend, but we haven't seen each other in years because he lives in a different place, so after, after college we just haven't seen each other in person. So it makes that a little hard. Uh, but yeah. I don't, sadly. I wish I did. 
Yeah. Okay, I can't talk too much more because I really have to go to the bathroom. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, all that fun stuff. Uh, subscribe, check out Patreon, link down below, and have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.